I got to hang out and went inside Lenovo Beijing campus. So you're interested in knowing what's inside, the way they see the future, what technology they're creating, tune in. Hey from the future, it's String. I'm about to throw some epic knowledge bombs and fried chicken at you. Get ready. From the future, guess where I am? I have three guesses. No, I'm not in USA. No, my glasses came off. I'm in actually in Beijing and it's my first time here. It's because I got invited by Lenovo, part of, of the tech world and innovation tour. I get to hang out and check out what the future looks like. I'm super interested in what they're doing with AI, IoT, and I'm gonna be just gonna be eating Peking duck and fried chicken all the way through. The main reason I went to Beijing is to visit Tech World and visit Lenovo. They're releasing new vision, smarter technology for all. But what does that even mean? So I broke it down into three parts. This whole video is to talk about like these three aspects of the vision. Smarter means how, technology is what, and all is who. Smarter technology for all, how, what, and for whom. It's my first time in Beijing, I was super excited because Beijing, fun fact, is one of the oldest cities in the world. It dates back to 3,000 years, like 3000. That's like crazy, right? Not only is Beijing one of the oldest cities in the world, it has seven UNESCO's World Heritage Sites, including the Great Wall of China that you could see from outer space, that's pretty cool. And, but I didn't get to visit that specifically because I was only there for five days to check out Lenovo. Places that I did get to visit was one of the summer palaces. This is where the emperor and his family will go and spend summer in. Currently we're at the summer palace and this corridor here is about 728 meters, less than a kilometer. So, and on the Guinness Book of Record, it, described as the longest corridor ever. I got invited to fly to Beijing to attend Lenovo's Tech World 2019. And during those couple of days, I also got the opportunity to hang out in the, their space, the headquarters, which is, a, but before we go deep into Tech World about Lenovo's new vision and new position, here are some interesting context to know about Lenovo. Lenovo was founded in Beijing in 1984 and it's about 35 years old. They jumped onto the world stage by partnering up with the Olympics in 2004. But the biggest acquisition that they did in terms of like wow factor was that they acquired IBM's personal computing division and rebranded their IBM ThinkPad to Lenovo ThinkPad. Then in 2004, they acquired Motorola. Today, they're one of the largest PC computer companies in the world. But what I like realized, like that's a misconception. So when I was hanging out at Lenovo, I realized they do much more than just personal laptops. They have like everything from home technology, AI technology, voice technology. They even have VR headsets as well. So a lot of people don't realize that, that like why they're known for their consumer front products. They have like deeper technology behind them as well. I'm inside Lenovo's campus in Beijing. It's massive. About 15,000 people are based here and as a company Lenovo globally has about over 57,000 employees. The Lenovo campus in Beijing sits inside their own version of Silicon Valley or has a Silicon Valley feel and it's called, let me, let me pronounce it properly, Zhang Guangkeng Software Park and they mostly do R&D, so they don't do any of the, the manufacturing there. It's mostly to show demonstration and for media people like myself and other business journalists come and visit. So about 30 of us flew all the way from Europe and APAC to hang out there to see the new launches, to see the new future 
center and other things as well but we got to see the uh, product launches demos and lots of things one of my favorite visits was like the design center because i got to see the process of how they create the, the laptops and the consumer like inside the H hq there was a long wall of patents there was also inside the atrium a massive six-story climbing wall for staff to like hang out and climb in. The, um, Lenovo also opened up the Future Design Center. Oh. Hello, welcome to Lenovo Future Center. We also visited the Future Center where we got to see all the way from home technology to health technology or eat to all the way to gaming. I didn't even know they did gaming and to all the way to the mobiles to all the way to the laptops. So it was very consumer for the first part of the tour was very consumer like and then you get to see the behind the scenes the enterprise level as well so we got to see the uh, the servers um, and the AI use of technology as well seeing the robotic um, in action where the, inside the future center there was a bar making drinks for us then we went to tech world which was really exciting because we got to see the major players like Yang Yunquin, chairman and CEO of Lenovo present and talk about their future and their thoughts about smarter technology for all. But what really excited me was not only he introduced Razer, but he also introduced this other foldable technology, which is still in prototype stage, the foldable PC. So there was a massive queue for it, but we got to play around and touch it. I'm really excited because like, I feel like this is the new way of work, the new way of doing work remotely and on the go. It was a pretty crazy trip that like I got the rare glimpse and insight of what Lenovo Beijing campus was like and also got to see the new future center which was pretty crazy but I think when it comes down to it why I enjoyed the Peking Duck why I got to see the oldest city in the world being inside Lenovo for those couple of days allowed me to see what kind of thinking they had about smarter technology for all and if you have to dumb it down it's just how can they use technology to empower everyday people like you and me. Um, I'm using technology every day, so instead of like being scared of it, embrace it. I know if I didn't have my smartphone or my mobile, I could not run my business. So like the simple basic thing about like smarter technology for all, why they are thinking like five, ten years ahead of us, they're pretty much allowing us to be who we are and do what we do and follow our passion. You should, there are three videos you should check out. My Lenovo, my Lenovo Yoga unboxing and review of the 930, the Motorola video, and if you want to know more about smarter technology for all, check out this.